It's a top that trade day. Joining us now, Phil Flynn, a Fox Business Network contributor, and Alan Nuckman, an options trading pro. Here we go, guys, with our trader game, round number one, Treasury Trouble. We've seen those yields dip to really historic lows in some cases. Do you buy that dip? The limbo rates. What you do is you refinance. How low can they go? Yeah. And then, yeah I mean, there's no question. Well, prior to the, you know, the last financial crisis, one of the things that drove the economy was refinancing the economy. If you do refinance, just don't spend it on stupid stuff like- Well, no, no, I'm not saying a cash out refinance. I'm saying refinance your rate so your payment is lower. Yeah, that's a so, good thing. So, I mean, we saw the 30-year go yeah. down below below 2%. That hasn't happened. Yeah, you know, so it hasn't. Or mortgage buy rates, more property. Yeah, there you go. Mortgage, mortgage rates are very, very inexpensive, so there's no inflation. You know, and one of the things that we did see because of lower rates is actually the price of houses start to go back up. So there is a little give and take here. You know, I know that we've heard some talk about softness in the housing market, but if you look at prices, they've gone up because there's a lot of demand. So I think what's happening here for the first time in the long time, housing sellers have a better market because there's more buyers in the market uh, because of lower rates. So supply and demand, you can get better prices. That's for how that it works. Home. That's how it works. Oh, is that what that is? Can I write that down? Supply write that down. Right demand. Just... Round number two, fourth quarter back. Will we see an end of the year rally? Here we go. We're taking it for there in the fourth quarter. Here we go. The quarterback. Come so back. they're Play saying back. the expectations for earnings for the fourth quarter are, are they, I think I saw somewhere they were looking for double digits once again. I so, think go for the bomb. Shh. What happened to our uh, earnings recession? Weren't we supposed to have an earnings recession? When's that going It that did. Be? The last quarter we were essentially unchanged, oh. but that was still better than what they expected. So oh, it's all wait, about wait, expectations. Wait, 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 wait. How can you say unchanged is a recession? I Un don't no. They, well, that's what I'm saying. It was supposed to be negative growth, but there were, actually was unchanged growth. So, so we didn't get a recession. So we did not have an earnings recession. Promised us. Well, that's well. Some people are promising us uh, oh. some gains in the next fourth quarter. So I think oh. that's going to happen. I think the the earnings are going to continue to surprise, and that's what drives the market. That's what oh. drives the multiples of stocks, and uh, you know that's why I, it supports them at sometimes what people think are higher prices. I think do a flea flicker. We're going to have a big rally in the end. Go for the bomb. Go for the long play into the end of the year. It's going to be a touchdown. <laughs> Round number three. Wicked weather. The Farmer's Almanac is calling for a polar coaster. It is. Going going to be frigid, they say, but what market could heat up? I was looking at the woolly cal caterpillars like they do. They look fatter this year. So, so that's, that's your a, sign? That's a true sign. That's what these people look at. They look at the caterpillar. You know, if they if a heavy coat. The, the farmer's almanac, there is some correlation to what they say. They so they're, so I imagine they're going to be right at some point hey. during winter, it's going to get really cold. Well, that's it, what they're saying. That's it. And I'll tell you this, if we do come in If they could tell me which average, day, that'd be, you know, I'll, that'd be nice. I'll tell you one of the things, it'd be natural gas. Right? And listen, yes. last, after, you know, natural gas right now, prices have been low. Uh, we've had incredible production and most of the people have been bearish on natural gas for a long time. But we've learned from prior polar vortex, like 60 below zero wind chill factors in Chicago, that you can have major pops in this market. If you believe that we're going to get a strong winner, a perfect thing to do is buy some long-term options on the natural gas. And if you That'd get that pop, there you calls, go. right. Calls. Price pop potential. On your bonus round question for today, you guys do a terrific job on top that trade. And you've been on Business First AM for quite some time now. What is the premiere for today? What number is it? Five. We want one, we want to read. optimistic and say five plus. All right, there you go. Five with the star to the top. It's absolutely the premiere for season five. We thank you guys. We're glad you're bullish on our show. Business First AM continues right after this. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.